and learn. We are going to do a game review on all the pirate video games. Starting off with Pirates for the NES. Select the time period. The Silver Empire of 1560, the Merchant Smugglers. The New Colonists of 1620. War for Profit, 1640. The Buccaneer Heroes, 1660. Pirate Sunset, 1680. So in other words, they're letting you choose whatever you want to choose in different years and scenarios. So I guess I would ask you this question. Which one do you think you want to select? Foxy? It's the War for Profit. The War for Profit. Yeah, because I have a feeling it has something to do with booty. Okay. Are you an English adventurer? Treasure. A French? Uh... Say, my take. Puppeteer, a Dutch trader, or a Spanish renegade? Which one? I like the sound of adventure. You like the sound of adventure? English adventure. Yeah. What is your family name? Smith, Jones, etc. Just put in Smith. Lunar will leave the effects these guys have. Oh, see. I got you. Okay, here we go. Well, let's call ourselves Smith. Mr. Smith, which difficulty level will you choose? Apprentice? Journeyman, adventure, adventure, sail away. A sail on the horizon. Okay. Snail, wait. Oh, wait, that's a sail, not snail. Uh, wait. The lookout reports a sail on the horizon. That's okay. It's right underneath of that that I can't read. Okay, good, good. It says investigate, continue voyage. Should investigate. What if that's the enemy ships? We need to plunder. Shall we investigate or sail away? Uh, investigate. Okay. Arr, oh, it's that cowardly pirate, Major Blobbins. He is chasing us, Captain. She's flying pirate colors, Captain. Shall we close for battle? Help for news? Or sail away? Arr, they if they want a battle, let's give them a battle. Okay, here we go. Okay, so basically what we're doing right, right now, we're trying to... I don't know what that was doing there. Got to close into the ship. I think we bombed it. There we go. We got it. I think you need to aim. Yeah. We're the brown one, and he's the black one. Come on. Which ship are we out? Oh, we're the... Oh, shoot. He damaged us now. Okay, we're going to have to close in. So at least we can get him. Okay. Now, which weapon shall we use? The wrapper? Which would you think would be better for this uh, kind of job? Probably say the long sword. Because, a lo because pirates tend to carry swords. Yeah. We can't use the cannon, so... That's true, yeah. Shoot, he's taking our men, too. Actually, we've got 53 men. He's only got 34. So if we can get him to give up, we could take his ship and his men. I told you that crew thing was a good choice. It was. He gave up. We're good. Now we've got 53. Make him surrender. Okay. Make him surrender so we can take his booty. Okay. <laughs> Captain, we captured the Major Robbins. And a 10 gun. Let's bear. just say Foxy and Grid. Kid and Foxy are really big on treasure. Oh, I but see, I got you. Okay. <laughs> Want some bear, mate. Alright, so what should we do here? We need to plunder. It's telling us, should we take a lot of the stuff from the ship? 
Oh, by the way, Phantom Foxy wants to know if we won that. Well, Phantom Foxy, yes. We did win. So now we take what we can from that ship. Uh, wait. Oh, we know that says either 60, not 6V. That says either 60 or 64. Right, definitely 60. We times. don't have, we don't have, we don't, we clearly don't have the space. It says we only have 33 tons in the hull. We have space for 33 tons. It says 60. zero gold. But everything else is pretty much... Oh, wait. But I thought that's what it was next. I thought the 4,490 was the gold. Yeah, that's what we have. On our side. Oh, wait, that's our gold. Okay, okay. I'm not understanding this game too well. Oh, that's um, okay. Although we don't want to take too much because we might probably sink our ship too much too because we don't have that much to hold. So we gotta be very careful. Take a little more food. Take a little more food. A little more food, sugar, probably a little bit more too, maybe. And then the cannons is the last one. How is sugar valuable? Okay. Cannons? Probably take two of them. Alright, okay, let's not take it. Let's let's not take too much. Yeah, we gotta remember we don't have that much room. Um, we don't really Wait, carry. is there a way to upgrade that amount of space? There is. We have to get another ship. We have to take another ship if we then, can. Then, then we gotta take another ship at some point. Yeah. Uh, like. Mm -hmm. with, oh, we could have. Oh, why didn't we just take the other ship? We could have gotten more space. Mm-hmm. Hopefully this will work. We'll try it. I was not thinking about this clearly. That's all right. Okay, we're done. Let's just leave. Okay, yeah. Captain. Fifteen stars wish to Take join them. our crew. Take them Captain or leave them. Fifteen sailors must wish to join you. Oh, yes. Take them. Take them. Take them. Take, Take them. them. Okay. Yeah. I wonder if I can find. Any. Let me see if we got any maps here. Okay, it says there is a treasure somewhere. But it's, it looks like it might be down south. I don't know. They didn't give us any direction on what direction to go with, but we'll try looking it's south. Be a true pirate. We gotta speed up. Come on, somehow speed up. Speed up before it gets away. Oh, looks like you're getting closer. Yeah, a little bit. We cannot let them get away. No. Come on, wind. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Probably damaged our sails a little bit, I think. Maybe, I don't know. It gives us all the information right there. It says strong winds from the east and the southeast. Okay, Pinnacle 10. I don't know what that means. Oh, how many men we have, I guess. Okay, we have eight men. They have ten. Oh, okay, we're screwed. Sails damaged. Yep, that's why we're not getting anywhere. Our sails are damaged. Shit. No damage on this on their side though. Fuck, they're gone. Shit. Oh no. We're not gonna get them. Fuck. They're gone. Damn it. After a long, close sunsets, ending the battle. That freaking sucks. No. Oh, don't want to go into the reef. No. We're gonna lose our ship. They are not true pirates. They are not true pirates. No. They are cowards. Investigate. Pinnacle. She's flying Spanish. Close for battle. Hell yeah. We're gonna get that. We're gonna get that ship. Yes, we're gonna take it. Go, go, go. Take that damn ship. Take it, take it, take it. Oh shit. Ah. Damn it. They're going to get away. Fuck! Guess we're not going to get you either. Fucking shit. Go! Uh, this is freaking ridiculous. Guns loaded, full sails. They have full sails, but we, we're just still getting our sails up. Come on! Come on, you lazy 
I know. Come I on. Was, okay, we have 65 men. Do your job. Okay, so we're good. We actually do have more. We have 65 men. I, I was mistaken. That was the win I was looking at. We have 65 men. They have 16. So we're good with men. We just need to get a fucking ship. A ship that's better than our previous than our current one. Our ship sucks. It's all damaged. The sails are damaged on it. We're not going to be able to get it. Fuck. It's gone. Damn it. We might as well take the Spanish town. We'll take its whole town and everything. Fuck. We're screwed. We're not going to get it. Damn it. This one's gone too. Well, this definitely makes a good map to review now. All because we could get our all because our lazy crew can't get their butts off. Shit. Off their chairs. After a long chasing sand. battle, yeah, I know what you mean on that, man. All right, no. This time we're gonna have to do battle, I think, because this is a Spanish town. Oh no, not no, 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 no! Damn wind! Gotta hate this wind. It pushes me in all kinds of frickin' directions. And I don't know where to go after... Oh, wait, there it is. Let's see. Yeah, this is a Spanish town. Sound the harbor, attack the town, sneak into town, leave town. Attack town. If the Spanish are our enemy, then attack the town. And plunder it. Okay, what should we oh, use I'm for a to... weapon? Long sword, cutlass, or the wrapper? Cutlass. No, not the cutlass. The long sword. The long sword. The long sword. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. They have 43 men. We have 65. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Fuck. Damn it. We can do it, people. No! Fuck. Fuck. We have more men than this person does. We do, so we should be able to defeat him. Unless he takes down our men. We have 61, so he has 31, so well, we, have we got him. Yeah. Hopefully we can take their ship, too. I don't know. Well, it's a proud it's town, town of town Santiago, Paradise. Vega. Is that your mercy? Mm-hmm. Yes. They are at our mercy. <laughs> <laughs> it says, reminder of the... The garrison flees. Your crew begins to round up gold and valuables. All right, we're good. Perfect. We got the gold and spent back. The town has had warning of your ship's approach. Much of their gold has been hidden away. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. Well, we're going to take whatever we can. Take all their damn food. Actually, we'll take, because we need a little bit more goods. Probably I can't three. believe they hit the gold. It sucks. They don't have any gold. They hit it from us, so that freaking sucks. Their cannons, they don't have nothing. That sucks. All right, so let's talk about pirate gold for Sega Genesis. Funny, why does the person on the right side of the cover look like Captain Hook? What the fuck? So far I'm pretty impressed. The music ain't too bad. Now let's see what the gameplay looks like. Okay, press start. It says welcome to Pirate's Goal. Give you all these options too. It says start a new career, continue a save game, command a famous expedition, fight a duel, view the Hall of Fame. And look at all these other things it talks about. Change your difficulties. Not bad for a game. Now let's see what the gameplay looks like. Graphics are stunning, I would say. Not bad for graphics for a game for Sega Genesis. Now let's look at the gameplay. I mean, even the cutscenes are not bad. Not better than what you see on the NES, but let's see what... Alright, what the fuck is this shit? How come it's so damn slow when it comes to fighting? And yeah, that's where the game plays fast when you're actually running. It's the same thing like the fucking Nintendo. What a worthless piece of shit. Although I do like the fact that it has a little bit of some 
Good cinema scenes. Oh, this is awesome. I like Prima destroying the other pirate ships. That's fucking awesome. Oh, what the fuck? You just missed it? Another thing. Can you compare the NES version with the sword fighting? It's actually a lot better. Why do I say that? Because the animation is a lot faster. This shit is fucking horrible. But the graphics are not bad. I'm safe. But I like how it has sound and music on it. But then again, if you go back to the Nintendo, it only has sound. What the fuck? She was taking on her men, too. Actually, about 53 men. He's only got 34. Either way, both tires are fucking shit. Now we go into another title. The Pirates of Dark Water. I guess is the game is supposed to pretty much be just like the cartoon series. But even that didn't last long. The Pirates of Dark Water. Of course, when you get a title screen, it says The Pirates of Dark Water. Not bad for animation sequence. So the one thing I do think is interesting is the graphics ain't too bad for the start. Then the other thing I like too is how you can select different characters in the game. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, so I talked to this monkey bird, I guess. What the fuck is a damn monkey bird? Okay, so I keep jumping around, slashing shit. Don't know where to go. What the fuck? The other thing I don't like about this, it's so confusing. Fuck, I keep dying. Okay, so I go, what the fuck? This guy can't jump with this shit. At least he can climb a ladder pretty good. You gotta be kidding me. This game's fucking bullshit. Okay, what the fuck? Well, one of the good things about this game, at least your enemies die in fucking one hit. When you slash them with a sword or throw their ass. Alright, so let's check out another game. The Pirates of Dark Water for the Super Nintendo. Here we go. Alright, getting to the gameplay. Well, the story seems pretty interesting. But the gameplay, it's amazing. The graphics are pretty good. Although, it's all just fucking fight. Kinda reminds you of playing Final Fight. What the fuck? Alright, so let's go on to this title for the Game Boy Advance. Pirates of the Caribbean. The Curse of the Black Pearl. Okay, the title is in. But what the fuck? Where is the music from the fucking movie? Oh yeah. By the way, this music comes from the ride from fucking Disneyland. Okay, so we start the game. What the fuck is this? Okay, where the fuck is Jack Sparrow? Oh, actually, I don't know. Is it the guy with the blue bandana? What the fuck? Are you kidding me? These people didn't even watch the fucking movie? I guess I better give them a little bit of a refreshment. It's a shilling to tie up your boat at the dock. And I shall need to know your name. What do you say to three shillings? And we forget the name. Okay, what the fuck? What does this have to do with anything in the fucking movie? Actually, what the fuck's he doing? Playing skip a loop? I mean, really? Are you kidding me? They couldn't make this guy walk any better? Why the fuck is he jumping like he's skipping over fucking rocks and shit? Oh, actually, I don't know. But the other thing I noticed too about this game is. What the fuck? I'm killing crabs on a fucking beach. What the fuck? And he looks like he's running like he's got shit stuck up his ass. Another thing I don't like is you can't pull your sword out whenever you want. It only pulls out automatically when you see an opponent right in front of your screen. I mean, it's great to have the animation for pulling a sword, but why can't you pull it out? What the fuck? See, that's bullshit. I mean, the music on here is fucking shitty as hell, too. 
pick some shitty ass music. And the other thing I don't like about this stage is you get to this other point in a cave. Watch this. You would think this is a way to go when it comes to jumping, right? What the fuck? Oh, that's what you do. But what the fuck? Why can't you grab onto that ledge? Are you fucking kidding me? Can't grab onto a ledge that's not even that damn high? You got to be kidding me. Okay, now when you get to this town, this is fucking ridiculous. Okay. I find it interesting. I get all these notifications with messages. It's like, what the fuck? Why do they just keep popping up here, you know? It gets so annoying. Oh yeah, look at this. I'm fighting one of the British guards. He's fucking dead. What the fuck is this? How come I'm stuck between the wall here? Oh, wait a minute. Go right through it. How come I can't go that way? Is there a fucking wall or something? What the fuck? I mean, hearing that music play all the time, it's fucking annoying. I mean, when will it stop? It just keeps playing and playing and playing. What the fuck? This game is fucking garbage. Okay, so now we're getting on to another title for the Game Boy Advance. Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men's Chest. Well, I have to admit one thing. The graphics seem pretty good starting off, at least for the intro. But let's see when we get to the title screen. So far, I'm pretty impressed. It does kind of simulate the movie. The other one should have done the same, but it didn't do shit. So this one kind of looks like the movie. The animation's pretty good. Press start, new game. Alright. Here we go. Alright, what the fuck is this? Another thing I don't like about this fucking game is every time you try to do something or pick something, a fucking bird pops up on your screen tells you, okay, this is what you do. What the fuck? That's like me basically trying to play a game and the bird just basically interrupts the gameplay while I'm playing the fucking game. Fucking get out of the way, you damn bird. Fuck you. <laughs> the other thing I know is too, it's like, okay, um, the gameplay is good, but what the fuck? You can't even jump? Okay. And what's with all these points on the bad guys and opponents? And what's the point you having like a point on yourself? Okay. This game ain't bad as in graphics wise. The music's really good. He looks like Jack Sparrow, that is awesome. But what the fuck? A bird just keeps popping up on your fucking screen telling you, Oh, this is what you do! What the fuck? And look at this shit. It kind of reminds you of playing fucking Castlevania again. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna take up this guy. Yeah, that's what it reminds you. It reminds you of playing Castlevania. Simply of the night. Remember that game? That was for PlayStation, by the way. Another thing you'll notice in this game is the life bar is not very big. Other than what I do like is at least there's ways to fill up your life bar. Picking up items, picking up barrels. That's awesome. I like how they use the real images from the movie. That's fucking awesome. But the one other thing I like is when you fucking use the pirate ship. That is fucking awesome. Although I don't like how they made it a little slow. Other than the gameplay is pretty good. The graphics are fucking awesome. Alright, another thing I don't like is when you get these bridge cards. They take many hits to fucking kill. And I mean the crab only takes one fucking hit. One fucking hit for a crab. What are these guys wearing body armor or something? Shit. Another thing to understand, the fucking controls are horrible, and the jumping fucking sucks. Time to blow this game out of the fucking water. Take it away, Jack Sparrow. Fire. Fire!
Thank you.